got cats on my shirt and I got a cat on top of me because I'm a crazy cat lady. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the What's Your Face show. Okay. I really love this shirt. I love this shirt so much. And no, I am not getting paid to advertise my cat shirt. I just love it very, very much. Makes me feel better about the world ending. What is this guy doing? What do you think this guy's doing? He just wants some AS. First thing, which I thought was pretty cool, I was fact-checked by AFP fact-checkers. Yeah, my video made it into a fact-checking article, so that's pretty cool. I guess that means we're on the right track. We're on the right track, guys. And you are spreading it like wildfire and we're gonna win and conquer the world. Now, what I found hilarious about this article uh, that says misleading description of Canada's quarantine sites feeds COVID-19 conspiracy. It's very interesting when they put the information out directly for us to read and then when we read it, we just literally read exactly what was printed in this document, we are somehow conspiracy theorists. That's what I find very interesting, but that's always how it works. This is the part that I really loved. Uh, here it says, Hillier also claims that the quarantine facilities were designed to house a broad spectrum of people not limited to travelers, alleging that the phrase international travelers is absent from government documents. However, those words are found in the letter of interest and nothing suggests the facilities will be used for other individuals. Oh, nothing, nothing suggests. And this is how they always do it. They assume that people are so stupid, they will read headlines and they will read um, the, the uh, they'll read their little commentary here and won't bother to read the actual point where they highlight the information that suits their narrative. But here we have, he put it in his own article. At this time, the DQS, which stands for Designated Quarantine Sites, are being used to address the COVID-19 14-day quarantine requirements for international travelers. Now, this is where they assume most stupid people will be like, aha, international travelers, see, it's a conspiracy. But he didn't take into account whatsoever that somebody might continue reading, not having a suitable place to isolate. Over time, the use of the DQS may be temporarily discontinued until needed again by the government of Canada or may be used for other requirements. Once again, all we asked, not a conspiracy, all we did was ask a simple question. All Hillier did in Parliament was ask a very simple question that nobody could answer. Other requirements. What other requirements are you referring to? The article's absolute nonsense. It doesn't debunk anything. It really just banks on the fact that people are lazy and won't read the article. That's all that's happening here. Now, another thing I found quite amusing about our own government officials trying to debunk this is how oblivious they act. They act so oblivious. I don't know what you're talking about. We're not creating any quarantine facilities. Addressing it in a manner uh, as though as though this is like brand new information to them, like they just simply can't believe what we're saying. This is coming out of nowhere, completely out of left field. Uh, specifically, Teresa Tam, who I cannot stand. I can't even I can't even begin to tell you how much hate I have in my heart for this woman. I try not to hate people, but she makes it very very difficult. Um, so Teresa Tam says in this article, in this article that COVID-19 internment camp conspiracy is totally false, Health Canada says. Uh, let me scroll down here. Trudeau said he personally had to debunk conspiracy theories brought up by someone during a recent virtual meeting. I had to explain that we consume increasing, increasing amounts of various sources, information online and around us. We need to continue to be attentive to the source, the Prime Minister said. In the wake of the conspiracy theory, Canada's top doctor, Theresa Tam, is once again warning about COVID-19 misinformation online. Information is spread faster than the virus itself, she said. 
So be media smart as well as science smart, if you like. Yes, everyone is an armchair epidemiologist and everyone should actually be media smart at this point in time. Okay, so we have these government officials uh, acting as though this information is coming completely out of left field. They're just creating quarantine camps to make sure that uh, Canadians are safe. We they have no idea what we're talking about. This is brand new territory. They're just trying to figure it out as they go along. If that is the case, why is Teresa Tam in a documentary from 10 years ago, talking about every single COVID measure that's currently in place and ones that us conspiracy theorists are predicting are coming our way. I'm gonna show you the documentary that Teresa Tam was in so that next time you think Teresa Tam is approaching brand new territory and has no idea what she's doing and isn't completely aware of every single thing this government is doing to us, you can refer back to this documentary. I think the public has to know this is one of the worst case scenarios in terms of an infectious disease outbreak in that their cooperation is sought. If there are people who are non-compliant, there are definitely uh, laws and and public health um, powers that can quarantine people in mandatory settings. It's potential you could track people, put bracelets on their uh, arms, have police and other setups to ensure quarantine is undertaken. It's better to be preemptive and precautionary and take the heat of people thinking you might be overreactionary, get ahead of the curve, um, and then think about whether you've overreacted later. But it's such a serious situation. Police checkpoints are set up on all the bridges, and everyone leaving the city is required to show proof of vaccination. Those who refuse to cooperate are taken away to temporary detention centers. Oh, would you listen to that? People who refuse to get vaccinated will be sent to detention centers. What a shocker. What a shocker, because I, I highly doubt that's what's going to happen to us. Right, Teresa Tam? But um, I feel proud that I was on the fact-checking website, and I hope you guys will all read it, and I hope it just gets more people to watch this video and to watch Randy Hillier, who is doing God's work. I love you. We all love you. All right, guys, if you like this video, please comment and like and subscribe, and I will see you all next week. Bye. Support my Patreon. Help me. I'm poor.